And greetings PC Gen enthusiasts. This is Andrew once again, Data Monkey with PC Gen. And this time we're going to take you through uh, doing some custom uh, creations here uh, in the actual program. <coughs> We've had people come up and ask us to uh, include wands and potions and such. And I felt that this would probably be a good opportunity to show you how you can include these all in your own with the inbuilt uh, devices we have here. Um, so I could actually skip the whole creation process uh, and just go directly over to the, the, uh, the inventory purchase screen. And we'll just do the filter quick to uh, scroll. And we'll have a base scroll right here. No cost, no wait. You just click Add Custom, or you can right-click and Add Custom. You can add the Arcane or Divine. Let's make it an Arcane scroll. And it gives you the categories of Minor, Medium, or Major. Ooh, let's go Major. Sounds fun. Spell Effect. And then we get all of our spells. So it defaults to Spell Levels. And um, so Alchemist, we only get 4 through 9. Interesting. Oh, well, that's right, because we went with a major scroll. Yeah, the machine is a little bit smarter than the, uh, the user today. Let's see how often I do this. Okay, we're going to go with the sorcerer. Now you'll notice that you have all the creatures that are listed in PC Gen that have some sort of spell casting ability. So we're going to go with um, a wizard because it's actually going to be cheaper. And then we have all of the spells of fourth level are going to be listed here. If I want fifth or sixth. Even ninth, we'll go up there. <coughs> Let's see. Dominate the monster. And uh, we made this at 20th level. What the heck? Now I can add my um, my meta magic feats. So we will enlarge this, make it really epic. And now we have our scroll. Scroll, dominate monster, enlarge spell, wizard, 20th level, arcane, major. And we will buy that $5,000 scroll. Ha! Ah. So that's how we make a scroll. Making a customized sword. Let's see what pops up with sword. That's head gear. Let's go with long sword. My good old fallback. Okay, you got your typical enhancements um, that can come to the weapon. Uh, and then you got your different uh, material types. And then we have a few things that probably shouldn't be showing up yet until you've got a plus on them, but that requires a little bit more coding. So you can definitely change out the type. It will alter the information there, puts on the little mithril, alters the cost, the weight, and uh, it gives all the special properties of the item. And once we give it an enhancement bonus, Now we get a few more options. All the special effects that you can add. And then you've got your various fun things you can add on top of that. And then it will add this in here. Nord's armor and shield bonuses including enhancement, cannot arm undead, constructs, and objects. So now we got brilliant energy, mithril. And it will keep the cost total update and it gives me my total plus. Uh, let's make it a Flaming Burst, now we're up to plus 7, total cost right there. And we can buy it, and since I'm cashless, it's going to let me do that. And I'm cashless right here in the, the bottom left corner. You can also allow debt, and you can adjust your funds up here if you, if you so desire. Armor is pretty much the same endeavor. You just come on in here, find armor that you want. Let's go with Bandit, or uh, Bandit Mount. You get your same enhancements. Notice that it's saying two armor because the costs are different. Uh, we got our various armors here. And it will change everything for us. If you want your intelligent item, we can go with uh, intelligent item as well. So we got plus two. And most of those same options are going to be in here. You can get a save bonus, uh, insight, luck, other profane, resistance. You can give yourself a competent skill bonus, spell effects of the various uh, rule system. And you go in here and you can have your various energy resistances. Ooh, fortification, that sounds like fun. 
that puts me up to plus seven. Wow. And, ooh, shackle sounds fun. That just adds a cost to it, I believe. Let's see if I can get away with uh, putting that on there. Yep. So we didn't make it so they could take that off. And some of these are coded to remove and replace others, but it's quite a bit of extra coding. So we'll just add that there. Now let's give this guy a ring. Now most of the rings are already coded up, but some people do want to have their own uh, ring. So you can find there's base item right there, add a custom. And it's going to have all the effects in here that you can have. Uh, that would just be up the top. So let's give this guy a, ooh, a strength ring. And let's make it a plus six. And <coughs> this is a custom campaign, and my GM says that I can turn undead as both level cleric three times a day. And I just add that. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. It just gets added in there. And I want to call this ring... my ring of coolness. It's got my enhancement. It's got my little turn ability. It doesn't give me actual any turning of ability, but now it's going to list that. So I buy that. Now I've got a ring. Let's see, potions. Got custom. Spell effect. Single use. You choose your class, just like the scroll. takes a while. And also gives you access to subdomains. So anything that gives a spell or has a spell attached to it is going to be in this very large list. So let us go with a cleric. There's the cleric. And I want to make it a third level. And this is going to give me all the third levels properly. Now, mind you, a potion can only be made with a target area of a creature. Not living creature. It can still be undead, but it has to be a creature. can't be an object. can't be an area of effect. Um, it can't have a, a target of uh, personal or self. So that's why you're going to see those as being a little bit more limited. And let's just make this a really potent. maximize it. And there we go, our 3,300 gold piece potion of cure serious wounds. And let's go do a wand. Mind you, you got all these other ones that someone took the effort and time to actually make. But if you want to make your own, well, you can even have a broken wand. Isn't that cool? Think, searches through all the spells, all the things that could be possibly there. And apparently if you get a right class you can change it to divine if you got one that uses both. So make it a fifth level and charges. Let's give this one 45 charges. So if these guys found this as a treasure and didn't make it, now they got absorbing touch that was made by an alchemist, 7th level. So that covers the basics of uh, making customized objects in PC Gen without having to do any list coding, if that's something that scares you. And your item will, will appear there as one of the customs. I believe there used to be custom group here. Or, you know, the, um, the custom made stuff would usually appear somewhere, but 
And it's been a while since I've had to do any of that. So now we go over here. And let's go ahead and equip this. These are all going to go to the slots that they have. Yeah, equipped. And equipped. So there's my potion that's there. I got those equipped. No shield. I got legs. There's my armor. My weapon and my ring slot. And nothing on the head. And let's see here. There's the ring affecting my character. Is unchanged. And since we didn't actually make a character, this is pretty much going to be as exciting as it gets. It will take a moment for it to cycle through all the effects, and then this will pop up to 16 here in a moment. 